My name's Josh. My wife and I own Crafter Nation. We've been open for two years on November 9th. So today we're gonna do kind of a craft beer 101. It's just kind of like a, it's a, it's a little bit of a course I put on for friends and companies and stuff. They come in and we taste everything from kind of a, a Pilsner or lager all the way up through fruit beers, stouts, porters, IPAs. Um, I'll just kind of talk a little bit about the breweries. Um, so this is a Pilsner beer from Dandy Brewing out of uh, Calgary. That's yeah, nice, yeah. Really nice. yeah. Have you ever noticed that there's like a certain kind of like the craft beers that people tend to gravitate more towards? It definitely a seasonal thing. That's a great question. So summertime, a lot of fruit beers, mm -hmm. um, Rattlers and stuff like that. Definitely IPAs are always, IPAs in our store, um, it's probably like 30% of the coolers IPAs. People definitely love the hops. But then now coming to the cold season, porters and stouts. You'll see a lot of porters and stouts. Right. Barley wines, yeah. you know, uh, Belgian beers, heavy yeast beers, kind of those like, kind of those kind of cold weather drinking beers so we got yeah. a little left here anybody just help yourself so this oh, is I mean. <laughs> this next one there was a couple people excited about this one this is new level also out of calgary oh yeah and it's a horchetta so you're gonna if you like cinnamon toast crunch you will like this beer oh it just like smells so good oh, wow. thank you score one glass for me because yeah. I can have some while we do this do this hard work. That's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's dangerous. Yeah. So how they big brewers do, what they do is they, when they passionize their beer, they run it through, a, it's called a, a hot room, and they're hitting it with like, well, whatever the water temperature is before it turn into steam. And they're killing off all the live active yeast ingredients in there. Where craft beer, they leave it in there because mm -hmm. that's what gives you the flavor. So when you do buy craft beer, if you are gonna not keep it refrigerated, at least keep it in like kind of like a, a pantry or something. Like don't leave it in the sun because it will. It's called uh, refermentation. If you leave a beer like outside or in the heat, all that yeast will start to activate again, and your beer will go bad. You open the top off, and it will hit the ceiling. It'll just explode. Out. I've never even considered like drinking beers at different temperatures. No, nope. just always assume I want cold. it as cold as possible. Yeah. yeah. Missing out on life. Oh, might as well a bit more. Yeah, let's do it. You like it. Oh, you filled me up. <laughs> Thank you. That was it. You're a late comer. You gotta catch up. Thanks to Josh for coming in today and uh, letting us try some of your delicious wares. It was my pleasure. And uh, if you want to uh, find out a way that you can uh, earn yourself some um, Craft Nation bucks, you can head on over to xreddeer.com. We got a blog up there. It's a little texting thing. You'll read it. You'll understand. And then you'll be able to get yourself some beer. Uh, do we just want to give a shout out to uh, what we actually had in today and what we tried? So we tried 10 different beers. Um, everything from light beer all the way to a Neapolitan stout um, and everything in between. So I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit of something and enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, just like uh, we've teamed up with the uh, adoptive family you guys have as well. Yeah, so we did a collaboration beer with uh, Undercurrent Brewing out of Sylvan Lake. Uh, three local breweries, um, Undercurrent, or sorry, Belly Hop, Red Heart, and Red Shed Malting. And uh, we created a rye IPA, and the proceeds from the growler fills will go to uh, raising money for an adoptive family. Perfect, and uh, if you're like me and uh, you have like half a beer and you need to take a nap, uh, you can also uh, go out of your way to uh, come on into the station and uh, we have a tree set up for adoptive family as well. You can bring in presents uh, that will be going to uh, the same cause. It's a fantastic thing yeah. that uh, we're doing this time of year and uh, you come on in. You can again find more information about that over at uh, xreddeer.com. So uh, make sure you head on over there and check that out. And Josh, uh, thanks again for coming in. We're going to good to meet you. Let's do it. Let's All do right. It. How do you do it again? I think it's like, like this. this. Okay. Or a wine champagne thing. Intimate. Delicious. X 100.7 Red Deer's Alternative